we are told that it is self-reliance in academic execution that is the will of the individual. It is this individual that harnesses the innate ambition and abilities to access secure success. But scholastic achievement should always and essentially be a process of genuine investment, interpretation, and purpose. Differentiated assignment assessment has always been needed and is needed even more now. All right, once again, don't forget that you are using your Chromebooks to assist you with composing that information, all right? Composing the information from the Caltail Switch novel, all right? And conveying how that connects to your virtues. You don't have to use a Chromebook, though, if you don't want to. You have options, all right? Your Google Documents is an easier way to connect the two and to get it ready for your poster board, great. If you want to use a piece of paper, traditional method of paper, you can do that as well, all right? You have options, you always have options. being able to meet kids where they are and like what works because if you can text a paragraph and you know send it to me and then we can sit and put it in a google doc then it's going to get done versus you know it not getting done um, being able to use different media for for assessment or for instruction is great it really helps them get a different approach to learning you know everybody learns in different ways so that's uh, it's great to enable kids to to use different types of media and also access curriculum and, and assessment um, to meet them where they're at in terms of their needs. Uh, but I think that kids have to become aware of the technology that they're going to be using in the workplace throughout their life. And I think that uh, having creative ways of, of submitting assignments. My name is Jillian Jackson and I am showing you how to send assignments through your phone and video. Um, this is my vocabulary. Well, some people don't have technology out of class, but in class it's good because we could, it'll be easier. We don't have to scramble for paper and pencils and stuff. I agree with her. I mean, it is a good idea for like, like for example, me. I was just on it just now, and but for, but some people might not have electronics at home, so it's kind of both a good and a bad idea. But maybe you should like modernize modernize it. I think it's an awesome idea for me because. We pay attention to technology more than classwork because exactly. sometimes teachers be you know, boring and stuff when they talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we use technology so much and it carries so much value to everyone. It's hard to not, um, it's hard not to like keep it in schools, but it'll be nice to like. It would be nice to look more into the textbooks and like um, write a little bit more.
I think I might turn more stuff in because I'm already on my phone half the time. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like, paper and pencil is so much fashion. So much work. work. And then, yeah, since like most of your life is on your phone, like, I'm always on my phone whenever I get home, so I will end up using social media. successful part of time and stumble part of time because I'll get distracted and go on Snapchat or Instagram. Mm -hmm. so, but <laughs> I think like yeah it will be easy. I will think I'll I think I'll succeed. I think I'm gonna mostly struggle because normally I forget to do my work because I'm always on my phone. Yeah. I, think, I think I'm going to struggle because I kind of like having a physical element to things. I advocate for that. That is my philosophy of teaching. Not every student is going to learn the same way, the same day, at the same time. And when you put instruments or tools in students' hands to show what they learn, because not everyone is going to show it the same way. You, you'd be amazed what you get from students and what they know when they have what they, what, a tool that fits their ability. Um, I think technology as a tool is an incredible resource for us. I think we as, uh, as educators just holistically haven't quite figured out that sweet spot yet. I think we would be remiss if we uh, denied that technology exists. Uh, you know, I think when we talk about communication, it is certainly um, bridging some of the gaps that we've really felt for a long time. And I think we don't know how to, I think we come from a place of reg regulation, and so we're never quite sure how to deal with it, right? Like, but as I've been able, I've had the opportunity to have more technology in my classroom, um, and I've been more comfortable with allowing students to use technology in the classroom, it's sort of opened up the types of stuff that they can do and so my classes now because I'm you know I'm lucky enough to have one-to-one -one Chromebooks in my classroom mm -hmm. one for every kid I'm using Chromebooks almost daily for all kinds of different things not just assessments but how students are engaging with each other the types of projects they're working on uh, how I deliver information to them you know whether it's a lecture and notes or we show a video or they go and watch their own video and they have to do their own questions about that or and it also allows kids to work at different paces. Um, so when I see classrooms that are using technology in a way that is really engaging, I see kids flourish and get opportunities that they wouldn't have otherwise. And so I feel um, both excited and that extreme. when you merge the two together, that technology will give you data on a daily basis. And on a daily basis, you know exactly where your student is and what lessons you need to design to help improve any skills that's necessary. Or even if you have some students who are, don't need some skills, you can know when to move a student a little bit more or push them a little bit more. I think the use of computers makes their work uh, more efficient. It makes it easier for them to produce written work. You know, they have tools that are built in like spell check and grammar check that kind of helps them get through the, the writing and the output of the writing. Kids have to become aware of the technology that they're going to be using in the workplace throughout their life. And I think that uh, having creative ways of, of submitting assignments. The thing that I fear with that system is sometimes the, um, the intellectual task that you're asking them to do gets lost in the artistic um, uh, effort. I mean, uh, I think it's important for them to see like the scope of relationship building and like how they're connected to other people. Um, and so using like Instagram, which they're already on, but showing them like a different way of usage and like how it can be a platform to connect to people in a positive way, as opposed to like, oh, I don't feel good about myself. Oh, I see this. I see that. I'm watching fight videos versus like there's some empowering and inspiring things that are also on those same platforms. Like anything new, 
it has its pluses and minuses. Um, I think the influx of technology and social media has, of course, broadened our access to all types of information and knowledge um, that we didn't really have access to prior to the internet and, and all of the technological advances that we have today. Um, students' ability to rely on their own reasoning skills, uh, maybe even their own problem-solving skills because the answers are constantly there at their fingertips.